what is up guys deuce here back with another video today about boomer squad nfts today we're going to talk about how to transfer your nfts and trade them with somebody like your friends or hopefully it's your friends i wouldn't recommend doing trades with anyone you don't know or just met uh, just to keep it safe for both parties but we're talking about ingredients here so if you want to trade your ingredients I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. Uh, a couple of my buddies from TBR are helping me out with this, so you're gonna see me do it for the first time. I will say this, after you do it the first time, it's like clockwork, it's really simple. You're gonna need the guide for the ingredients and the numbers that are assigned to each ingredient. And you're gonna need this link to Chronoscan um, to do these transfers. So follow the instructions in this video and it's kind of short, so it should only take about five minutes to get through this tutorial. After that, you should be good to go. And if you have any questions or any issues, leave them in the comments down below. I'll be sure to come down and help you out. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Smash the like, and I'll see you in the chats. Peace. So to send these individual things... Sandy walked me through it last night, if I remember correctly. Uh, you got to do it through the contract. Right. So that link is in their, what section was it in their Discord? I believe it's in the official links. It's the very last post. You click on contract. And then uh, you click on right, right contract. Oh, the green verified button. Right contract. And then, you, mm -hmm. and then you click on connect to Web3. Connect to Web3. And then you'll know you're on the right track because that red dot turns green. Connect MetaMask. You got to go all the way down to number 10. Okay, number 10. Okay. okay. This is where you're, you're going to change things, right? So the from address, you're going to put your MetaMask address. Does anybody so need extra it? plates as well? Your boy Squeeze can use a plate, bro. All right, let me hit you with one. You just need one or two? Like at uh, two if you got it. Hold All on. right. And uh, let me know what you need. I got to go for tickets. Oh, dude, whatever you want to give me back is fine. Or you have plethora of, but you don't have to. Um, Squeeze, can you drop your address in the lounge for me? You too, sick. Address. No got him in there. And then ID unit. Okay, so it's going to be zero because we're doing plates. Okay. So that link, it basically is giving you exactly what I just told you step by step. On under step five, is, oh no, step eight, it shows you what the ID is for every item. Ah, the golden that, legend. Exactly. <laughs> that also matches up with the ids if you go to your chow time inventory those numbers are also there and then where it says data make sure you add zero x zero okay and amount i'm gonna push two the, num the, yeah, the number that you're setting to the quantity id unit for plates is zero, zero. All right. All right. So then you click right. Right. And then your MetaMask is going to pop up. Cannot read properties of undefined reading methods. Well, it was working yesterday. Okay, connected. Oh, shit. That green light came on. Maybe it'll work now. Oh shit, it you popped up. Some... There you go. Nice. Let's get it. Can you do this through DeFi? <coughs> uh, <laughs> yes, you can. You can. Really? You got to copy paste, I think, right? Or no, 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 you're right. MetaMask. I'm sorry. False alarm. Yeah. <laughs> I can try Meta this. I haven't used my MetaMask on my phone yet. I just barely downloaded the thing with Jake yeah. Crypto the other day. It's probably going to have to use work. MetaMask. Okay, so now this thing called view transaction is right next to the right tab. 
And I believe you can click this and possibly just view the trend. It should have gone through then. It's yeah. Done. Success I think and confirm. Yeah, I think the problem I'm having is because I'm trying to do this with my ledger. And some things just don't work with ledgers. I see. So it says I've transferred two of token zero to Squeezy. Yeah. We're good. It's done. Nice. Now if I go check back, I should have 11 plates. I'll refresh this. I got this written down, Voodoo. I got one tofu I'm going to send you and one ice cream. Right. Okay. Thank you, bro. Um, of course. Uh, I had to change my kid's diaper. What do you, <laughs> what do you need? I have no idea. But, <laughs> but it worked. It worked. We're good. It worked. It does work. Oh, I don't have any jello, actually, if you want. There you go. All right. I got you, bro. I'm going to send it right now. Okay. Oh, all right. What's your, uh, what's your, um, all right. Just to give you some quick little tidbits, some updates that you might be encountering, I just want to say, guys, if you are using this method, I would suggest using a MetaMask wallet. And if you can, you can use your MetaMask browser in your uh, mobile device as well, but you'll be switching screens a lot, getting multiple addresses here and there. If you're not into that tedious work, I recommend jumping on a PC or something, right? And using the MetaMask extension. That is definitely how I did it, and it was much easier, um, ease of access, but I do have friends that did it all on their MetaMask browser, so that does those two methods work for sure. Also, a quick little update on the CDC wallet. If you are using your CDC wallet, um, there are some issues, minor issues, but they're on it as we speak. They wish to have that done by tomorrow or a couple days from now, okay? So I'll read you exactly what Carl wrote me. He said, I think we'll get it up this week. It's just not as important as fixing the UI bug we found on the DeFi app, okay? And um, when he says... I think we'll get it up this week. He's talking about the streamlining of transferring ingredients. We might not have to use this chrono scan method. They'll probably have a thing on their marketplace or on their website to do that. Okay. Back to the message. The front end dev is basically rebuilding the mobile UI for the gameplay itself. First, then we will work on this, which isn't too hard. Awesome, Carl. Thank you so much. Now, there's a little quick update as far as gas cost goes. I mean, I think they vary. For me, it didn't cost too much gas, uh, not even a crow. So I was uh, happy about that. And guys, I will leave all the links that you need down below. Okay, I'll leave a link of the step-by-step -step feature that Carl made. I'll leave a link of the ingredients, images that I screenshotted just by itself so you can have as a reference. I think that about covers everything. So, everybody, good luck. Get your trades going. Get your ingredients. Make sure you got your plates. And uh, chow down. I'll see you guys in the chats. Have a good one. My name is Deuce, your average crypto guy. Boomer, out.